Apple's annual September event is over, and yes, we have a new iPhone series. And no, Apple has not ditched the unlucky number 13, and the new iPhones are indeed called iPhone 13. There are four variants this time as well, the iPhone 30, the 13 mini, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max. Interestingly, Apple has actually kept the prices of these products the same as last year, even in India. Further, Apple showcased its new Apple Watch Series 7 at the event, which gets a new redesign and a bigger screen size. Finally, Apple surprised us with two new iPads at the event, the iPad mini and the iPad 9th generation. The iPad mini has got a total redesign and a more powerful processor and comes with a new host of features. Let us take a look at everything that Apple announced at its September event. So let's start with the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 mini. Now they might look the same as last year's but there are subtle changes. For one, the rear camera lenses are now diagonally arranged and Apple has added a ceramic shield on the front of the display which it says will add some toughness and much needed protection to the glass. Uh, the display sizes remain the same at 6.1 inches and 5.4 inches. Another aspect to keep in mind about the iPhone 13 series is that now the notch is smaller. It's around 20% smaller according to Apple. Face ID is still there with its array of sensors, but Apple has managed to pack it in a smaller notch. There's a new pink color as well, and the iPhone 13 and 13 mini will come in five colors. Further, Apple has improved the camera sensors on both these phones, and they are bigger. The 12 MP ultra wide sensor uses the same sensor shift OIS technology which was seen on last year's Pro Max variant. Now this will ensure better low light photos because the sensor will remain more stable despite the low light scenarios. Further, both new iPhones are of course running the latest A15 processor which promises considerable improvements. This is a 6 core processor. Apple is also saying that the battery life on these new phones is much improved. Most importantly, Apple is adding a cinematic camera mode to the iPhone 13 and the 13 mini camera. This will allow videos on the iPhone 13 series to have a cinematic effect, where the object or person stays in focus with a depth effect added to the background. The focus can be changed during or after capture and users can also adjust the level of bokeh. The iPhone 13 starts at 79,900 while the mini starts at 69,900. But remember, this time Apple has doubled the storage. So the base variant is actually starting at 128 GB and not 64 GB. Now let's talk about the iPhone 13 Pro series, which does continue with the same display size. And the design is pretty much the same, but there's one major change. The display now has ProMotion, featuring an adaptive refresh rate of up to 120 Hz thus making the touch experience a lot faster and a lot more responsive. Now, the Pro series also runs the A15 Bionic processor, but unlike the Apple iPhone 13 and 13 mini, this one has a 5-core GPU. It's the first time that Apple has added a GPU with a different number of cores across its processor line. Usually, the processors are the same across all iPhones. Now, Apple is saying this is being done to boost the video camera performance on the Pro series given these are being pitched more for professionals. And yes, there are improvements to the battery life as well on both phones. But Apple has made some big changes to the camera on the Pro series. The ultra wide, the wide and telephoto cameras are all bigger and a lot more improved. Apple has also added autofocus capability to the ultra wide sensor. And thanks to advanced software, the iPhone 13 Pro series now supports macro photography. Users can capture sharp close-ups with a minimum focus distance of 2 cm. Macro also extends to video, including slow-mo and time-lapse. The 13 Pro and Pro Max cameras also include a 77mm telephoto camera, which will allow users to get closer to their subjects when they're recording videos or trying to take portrait shots, and offers 3x optical zoom and a total of 6x optical zoom. The night mode has also been extended to all three cameras as well. And yes, like the iPhone 13, they also support cinematic mode. Finally, the iPhone 13 Pro series has a stunning new gold and Sierra blue color option in addition to the graphite and silver colors. Now we 
talk about the Apple Watch Series 7, which gets a re-engineered, always-on retina display with more screen area and thinner borders. The new Watch Series 7 actually comes in a 41mm and 45mm case size. This is actually bigger than the Series 6. The narrow borders will now allow the display to maximize the screen area and Apple says it has softer, more rounded corners. The display also has what Apple is calling a unique refractive edge, which makes the full screen watch faces and apps appear to seamlessly connect with the curvature of the case. The Watch Series 7 also features a user interface, which is optimized to use this larger display with new watch faces, which are designed specifically for the Series 7. It also has an all day 18 hour battery life and 33% fast charging. It comes with an IP6X certification for resistance to dust and of course it is swim proof as well. It will come in 5 new aluminium case finishes along with a new range of band colors and styles. It will be compatible with older bands as well. What is interesting is though that Apple has not confirmed the price for the Apple Watch Series 7 in India. We know that the US price is still at $399 but the India price has not been confirmed. So there have been reports that Apple is facing issues with production because of the new screen of the CD7, which could explain the reason why it's delayed. The exact release date has not been confirmed by Apple. Finally, let's talk about the new iPads. The iPad 9th generation now runs the A13 Bionic processor. It gets much needed camera improvements and starts at Rs 30,900 in India. It was actually the iPad mini which was the star of the show. It runs the latest A15 Bionic chipset. It comes with a bigger 8.3 inch display as well and it is 5G ready. Both the iPads now come with improved cameras both on the front and back. The front camera now has a center stage feature which will automatically pan the camera to keep the user in view as they move around. This is of course important given a lot more people might be using the front camera of their iPads, be it for education purposes, for their regular meetings, or just to do FaceTime with their friends and family. The iPad mini now supports the Apple Pencil second generation, while the iPad will support the Apple Pencil first generation. The iPad mini now also has a Type-C USB port at the bottom. So these were all the main products that Apple announced at its September event. You can go to indianexpress.com and read up more for more details about the latest iPhones, the Apple Watch Series 7 and the new iPads.